hello. I'm your show and go. And this is my apartment. Come on in. I've been living here downtown Salt Lake for about a year and a half almost. And uh, it's, it's been pretty good. A little expensive because, you know, it's the, the big city. Ooh. But um, I really like this location. It's great. And I also like this physically. Uh, the newest addition would be these coat racks. Like four bucks at Target. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just coat racks. Why don't you come on in, check out the kitchen. The, the most impressive thing, uh, I don't want to say they're vaulted ceilings, but they're tall enough that I can't touch them, which is great, because I'm 6'4", which isn't that tall, but it's tall enough that people are like, wow, you're tall. Anyways, if I can't touch them, it feels super spacious and it's really nice. So both the kitchen and the TV room and the bedroom have this like vaulted feeling, which is really great. Um, also, full-size appliances come with the apartment, so I don't have to buy them or rent them or anything. They're just part of the package, I guess. Uh, so having a full-size fridge is great, full-size everything else. Got the, the dishes running. A little a little weird because they kind of ran out of space, but we've got the, the, wash, the laundry room in here with the, the clothing machines. What are they called? Just washing machines, right? And the dryer, yeah. And um, yeah, all the other cleaning stuff I just dump in there, the brooms and the vacuums and the, everything else. Uh, fun, fun story, um, my old roommate would come and dump all of his dirty clothes like right here in the kitchen because he didn't want them in his room, which was super annoying and absolutely smelly and disgusting. But he's gone now, so it's fine. The apartment smells normal again. Anyways, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I've got a couple of these Ikea pegboards that are really nice. Um, this I just use for spice racks and mugs and stuff, and it's actually really great. A little fake plant and you know, photos and stuff, and we'll see more of this later in my bedroom. Uh, but really nice addition. I had no idea that this pegboard thing was like a thing, and they're really cool because you just put them up there and then you can like dynamically change it without constantly like unscrewing things and remeasuring things and screwing them back in. You just move them to a different peg. It's really cool. Well, all right, let's move on to the middle section. And this is it. Got a table. Uh, my mom gave this to me. Believe there is good in the world and be the good. Believe and be the one to bring that good to the world. I try to do that. I don't always succeed, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, we've got the kitchen table. we got all these. We've got this like office chair and then the other office chair that I just got like for free because someone else in the apartment was getting rid of them. I'm like, I'll take them. <laughs> free is so good. Um, what what else is is there? Oh, I guess we've got this wall um, Featuring my my very own beautiful artwork. This is an iPhone 4 guys by the way a Panoramic from iPhone 4 in like 2012 um, And it looks amazing look how big it is uh, Eventually we'll have this stuff cleared up. This is just some of my extra stuff that I don't know what to do with And that's that's all there is to say about this Let's check out the most important room in the entire house. And of course, I'm talking about the TV room. Ta-da! <laughs> um, let's see. we got the permanent Halloween lights at the top because that is the greatest holiday, let's face it. Um, let's, where, where do we even begin? Well, let's begin with the TV. So you already saw my unboxing whatever setup. Um, but yeah, it's good to get new stuff every once in a while. The other TV I had, was a plasma and actually really, really good for movies because of those inky blacks <clears throat> that uh, were actually even better than OLED, but nobody likes plasma anymore. So, there you go. But 4K Ultra H, or, yeah, 4K HDR, high dynamic range. Guys, if you haven't seen things on an HDR TV, like HDR content on an HDR TV, it's a game changer. And I guarantee your next computer monitor or your next TV will be HDR. You're welcome, world. That's something I've been following on YouTube for a long time, and finally, we got it. But of course, uh, how good is the TV experience if you don't have a good couch to sit on? So we've got some stuff that we'll put away in a second here. Uh, we've got this awesome leather couch that my dad gave me for graduating and getting my first real job. Ah, and it reclines! Ah. So good. Unfortunately, it's just the left side and the right side, so the middle, whoever gets the middle seat. Sorry. And uh, this is the best view in the house, obviously. But speaking of good views, uh, check out the wall behind me. 
because I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so the big giant middle poster isn't actually signatures, um, but they're all like digitally recreated. But it's, it's, it's close enough, like I'm fine with it. And then I went out of my way to find the best uh, artwork for every single person or every single hero that has their own movie. And uh, we got them printed up on these little floating glass things from Walmart. Wow. It's a little hard to see with all the lights and the reflections and stuff, but wow. So good. Um, before we forget, let's check out the balcony. It's obviously having a little bit of outside space is a really nice feature. And these apartments, I, I hate these things so much. These are so, they're just absolutely garbage. Anyways. It's a bit cold, so um, let's go back inside. <laughs> yeah, really, really nice space, and uh, it's a great place to launch the drone, my drone from, and get some good city shots. All right, now that I have you in the corner here, got this old, super old bookshelf with uh, books, and uh, you know, of course, got all the got all the VHS tapes because uh, that's how old I am. Oh, and we've got all my Switch games here too, which we're so shortly going to move to my new bookshelf. Let's, let's take a look at some of this stuff here. Obviously, I'm a huge gamer. Uh, all in on the Nintendo life, all in on that Xbox life. So one of my favorite things is obviously I've got all these consoles. We've got the Super Nintendo Classic. We've got the GameCube with a special HDMI adapter. We've got the Wii U to play all the Wii games and the Wii U games, which is still a great console, by the way. Like, it's really good. Of course, Xbox One X, no series just yet. Um, and the coolest thing about this, oh, and my Nintendo Switch up here, which is not docked. But the coolest thing about all this is that I've got this Switch, Switcher up here has nothing to do with Nintendo Switch. Um, but you can see here I've got everything labeled. And basically I can put five of these HDMI into just one. These are all hooked up to the Switcher which with this orange cable. Put that back. The orange cable is then scooched over here to this HDMI duplicator thing, which then splits off. One goes to the TV here, full 4K full 60 frames a second, full HDR, which the only thing that supports that is the Xbox. Uh, and then we've got the other one right here that goes through the wall and into my recording setup. Uh, so I can stream stuff and record stuff. Only like HD, but it still looks really, really good. We've got all the storage, got the, the controller rechargers, got all the GameCube stuff right here. We've got all the Xbox and the, the, and the, the Wii stuff and the Nintendo Switch stuff right here. And uh, travel cases, oh. This is impressive. Just got every single Xbox disc ever. <laughs> and Wii and Wii U. Yeah. I've only played like 20% of those games. <laughs> and further down the line, of course, we've got my uh, VCR player. Gotta love those old school videotapes. Um, and actually, my sister just gave me Samurai Jack, the complete series on Blu-ray for Christmas. And it's already February and I haven't even opened it yet. I've been working through Mandalorian and, and 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 a bunch of other shows that there's too many of them. Oh, hey, check this out. Um, I need to do a live stream of this, but authentic, genuine Dance Dance Revolution Mario mix pads for the Nintendo GameCube, and I've got two of them. So if you can uh, join me with the, the DDR, fun. <laughs> um, yep, that's I, I'm I'm a uh, you know I I do Nintendo. Anyways, well that's super fun. Um, next point of uh, utter excitement is this music device thing, which does everything. It's a handsome unit, it's like an all-in-one. So we've got the records, it takes vinyls up top, it's got take CDs off to the side, uh, it does the radio, it has an auxiliary so you can hook it up to your Wi-Fi, and then around the corner here it does tapes. So like, I don't have very many tapes, but for example, Target was selling this Stranger Things soundtrack. Well, it's actually Stranger Things 1 and 2 um, on tape. <laughs> like, what? That's so cool. See, speaking of Stranger Things, we also have the season three on vinyl. We've got a lot of really great vinyl soundtracks here. Um, what are some of my favorites? My goodness, we've got Plans by Death Cab for Cutie, which in my opinion is the greatest album of all time. All the songs are real bangers but they're also incredibly depressing and melancholy, so you have to be in the right mood, but I really, whew, I really like them. Um, what else? Jim Guthrie's Sword and Sorcery, The Ballad of the Space Babies, originally an iOS game, now it's actually on a lot of modern consoles like the Switch, 
and I've never actually beaten this game because on iOS anyways, you can only play certain parts like during a full moon. Like literally the game knows when it's a full moon and you can only do certain things to progress the story on a full moon or a new moon or a, a half moon or whatever. And so, or a crescent moon like on the album art here. And so I just kind of gave up. But I've listened to the soundtrack at least a hundred times and I don't, I honestly don't think that's an exaggeration. I've been listening to the soundtrack for since 2008, so, or 2009, when did the game come out? I don't remember, but at least 10 years or more. Um, all the rest of these, uh, we'll have to do a, a music collection video, but like I've got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and Volume 2, I've got Lego Batman, we've got Floor Kids, a lot of video game soundtracks, that's kind of kind of my jam. Yeah, I really like these IKEA bookshelves because they're super modular, we've got a lot of storage, like all my old N64 stuff, what's in here, oh, all of my old Game Boy stuff and an original box for Pokemon box, like that's got to be valuable, right? And I, I don't know, just a lot of Game Boy stuff, oh, I forgot about this, a special Game Boy White version case, or did I say Game Boy? DS Lite, for sure, DS Lite, that's a really handsome tiny little case. Board games, we've got like interesting magazines and things to read. Uh, even more magazines right here. All the CDs and more stuff. Um, what else is down here? Got a lot of my filming equipment stored away. Got lights, arms, microphones, cables, things like that. I've got my original tech bag, which is just um, uh, just for photography. So like my SLR and the lenses and batteries and things like that. Wow, what, what else? What do we even have down here? This is like a, a, a little treasure museum. Oh wow, an old binder from kindergarten. Or not kindergarten, just grade school. That's intense. I used to print out everything, every new Apple update, I'd like print it out, every new Nintendo update. And all of these things fill out too. Oh wow, I wrote a, I wrote a, a Nintendo December 29th, 2006. Wow. Thank you for your recent letter. I thoroughly enjoyed the DVD. Apparently I sent them a DVD. <laughs> this was before, uh, yeah, this is really before YouTube. I mean, YouTube was 2005, but this is really before you could share videos through the internet. So I just burned them a DVD and apparently they liked that. That's interesting. Um, anyways, oh, is this? Oh. No way, Harry Potter trading cards? Did you know there's a trading card game for Harry Potter? Should we look at some of these? Yes, let's look at some of these. Wow, we've got um, we've got Wizard Crackers, which is a spell. Okay, we've got a, a holographic Hagrid through the archway. What? These are these are pretty valuable, right? I totally forgot about these. Holy cow! We've got Snape's Question, Ooh, which is a, a, another spell card. We've got a quality Quidditch supplies, which is a, a location card, which is sideways. Wow. We've got Diagon Alley. We've got the Care of Magical Creatures lesson, um, and more. This is going to be its own separate video because I've got, I've got a whole lot of these. Wow. Is that, is that a lot or is that a lot? Did you know these were a thing? Yeah. yeah right. Holy I didn't cow! Even know they existed. But yeah, so I've got three whole stacks of these. And that'll be its own separate video. And that's why I keep things, because you never know how much fun you're gonna have 15 years later finding these and being like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. We also have my original like Left 4 Dead 3 proposal that I sent off to Valve. I actually bombarded them so much they invited me to do a tour of their studios. And it's just loaded with like all sorts of, this is version 5.0. I think the current version is 5.2, but like all sorts of ideas and like fake Photoshop posters and things like that. New gameplay mechanics, new zombies, new characters, new items, new mutations, all the locations. That's a good time. But my favorite thing, oh my gosh, look at this. Ah, the new Nintendo DS Small. <laughs> it's, a, it's a horizontally opening portable instead of a vertical. Wow, how about that? A whole new flip. <laughs> Your puns, I can't. <clears throat> that's, that's, um, wow. It, it kind of looks like the state of Nevada. I'm just realizing now. Yeah, if you turn it upside down. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah like right that. Yeah. So the, the DS Small coming soon 
to a, a, a Target and a, and, a, and a GameStop near you. Wow, a, a new sleeker, smaller DS. Rough draft. Wow. Only one inch thick when closed. Come on, Parker, use your imagination. I probably made this. I don't have any, I don't see any dates on this. I wish I would have dated it. Holy, what a gem. <laughs> if this is the right binder, I hope it is. Project Pokemon. Oh, no, it's not the right binder. I have a whole bunch of fake mon that I really need to show you guys, and I'm really proud of them but it's not in this binder. So where would it be? I'm really I'm really annoyed because when I moved up here, my parents moved a lot of my stuff and they sold a lot of stuff and they threw away a lot of stuff. And I'm finding some of those things they should not have sold or thrown out. And I'm worried about maybe Project Pokemon was thrown out. I don't know, well, that remains to be seen. Anyways, you get the idea. Just a lot of random crap that I like to save because I don't want to throw it away. Like this, this is great. Like what, how, how sad would I be? in 20 years when I remember, oh, remember that one time I made a Nintendo prototype? Oh wait, no I don't, because I threw it away. <laughs> oh man, but I really like these. In conclusion, I really like these IKEA storage boxes because they have a lot of stuff. Now, this brings us to the most important corner of the entire apartment. This corner. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got my Zelda shrine up here. Pokemon Shrine down here. Amazing. And got lots of lots of Pokemon steel books and Halo steel books and all that good stuff. That's just probably the greatest corner in the apartment. And then of course next up we've got the, the incredible Blu-ray collection. These are the regular Blu-rays. We've got the 3Ds on the top left here. We've got my homemade movies on the top right. And then everything else is just alphabetical, give or take. Um, and then the most recent edition, I actually just finished building this today. Uh, this is the Ikea Gennedby bookshelf or, or, or media storage shelf and I bought it before COVID happened and during COVID they decided to stop selling it. <laughs> Sad. And so I just um, made another one that was inspired by it. The wood and the tools and the supplies, a few things from home. Uh, I'm not going to like film everything, just this is, this is what we're starting with. Well, all right, we got the first big step going on. We. Uh, Forgot to get this guy cut down with the bull nose. Uh, so the second piece, we got that cut down and shaped it to size to fit to be on the top shelf. One thing I discovered though, um, the guy cut my shelf too shallow. The shelves will stick out a little bit like that. So I've got my 10 shelves here and what I've decided is I'm just gonna take off a quarter inch uh, off of each one. And uh, once I get this guy locked down and it's squared off, then uh, that should be very easy to do. Well, we got the backboard almost done. Oh boy, done with the back. Pretty good. Uh, now we just gotta put the shelves in and since we don't have the pegboards like the Ikea does, um, or like the Ikea one has, we're going to have to do it custom so the top two shelves are gonna be big enough for DVDs because I still have like some Xbox steel books and some Wii steel books and some things like that that we'll put there for the, um, the top two shelves. And then all the other bottom eight will be regular Blu-ray slash Nintendo Switch sized. Oh wow, so ugh. Um, putting in these shelves and making them perfectly squared off is a lot, 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 lot harder than I was expecting. 
So I've only done one, two, three, four. I've got a system down now. And it makes me really wish that Ikea would keep selling this Gennedby uh, bookshelf. Although this one is about two inches wider, so it'll fit, uh, I think, two extra Blu-rays. Glued up all the back edges, we'll let that dry, and then we'll paint it. Got the primer and the spray paint going on. Primer on the outside. Did I record the other stuff? I don't remember. But all on the sides and the back, we've got it painted already, actually. Well, we got the painting done. Now we just gotta let it dry. Looking great. Let's let's, let's put some movies in here. Let's This is, this is the configuration for now. We've got the top two for Xbox, we've got the next two for Nintendo Switch, and then TV shows and everything else. I'm not sure if I want to leave it like this, but for now it'll be fine. We've got all the MCU movies and then all the action franchises below that, and then all the regular steel books are still just here. Instead of having them in, in a circle on my VCR player, just for now, have them all facing everyone. So you can see all of them. It's quite nice. <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah, that's that's kind of a look at the the, the main living space. Uh, I guess let's go check out the bedroom. It's a new day, a new T-shirt. Come on into the bedroom, and immediately, of course, we see the centerpiece, the most important part of the entire bedroom. This is the uh, the, the setup, the desk, the command center, if you will. Um, of course, we've got the ultra wide, we've got the main iMac, and then we've got. This uh, amazing LED that I've had for like 12 years that I use for gaming and streaming and stuff like that. Um, this desk is 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 probably the newest addition I think because I actually I just built it a couple uh, I built it right when I moved in, uh, which was after I had all these other things. Um, but yeah, same same deal as the custom shelf out there. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I'm not sure if I filmed that or not. I'm pretty sure I did because I you know I film everything, but. But yeah, it's about it's six feet wide, three feet deep, and then we've got this thing that's like a foot by six feet. Uh, perfect for all my little knickknacks and thingamadoodads that I need. Um, and of course, uh, editing is the main important aspect of this. This is my movie, Shh, A Quiet Place fan film, which uh, actually is on my main channel right now, but I'm gonna take that down pretty soon and make a few tweaks and then throw it up on my movie channel because that's where all the movie channel stuff goes from now on. Um, I mean, I don't know, it's a desk. What, what do you wanna know? We've got. Um, the desk tripods, we've got these, I've uh, got a gorilla tripod, we've got my pop filter, we've got my uh, microphone on an arm that I can move around all over the place. Uh, I've got my stream deck here with my modded 2DS that can uh, capture video, which is pretty great. Um, of course, we've got this $30 studio light that lights everything. It uh, costs about 50 bucks to make and then like the, the light bulbs are honestly the most expensive part of that and they're just regular light bulbs that you get anywhere. Another tripod, um, yeah. So we've got everything that I need to do, all the streaming stuff, all the editing stuff. And speaking of editing, obviously video takes up a lot of space, so where does all that go? Well, in here we've got an internal 500 gig uh, NVMe SSD, like a Blade hard drive, which is stupid fast. For that though, I only have like the OS and apps and stuff like that. Uh, for all the main stuff, we've got these two Thunderbolt uh, configurations down here. Uh, the one on the left is Thunderbolt 3, the one on the right is Thunderbolt 2. Uh, this Thunderbolt 2 one is 21 terabytes of storage that just has all my stuff. I used to have a bunch of different hard drives, but I decided to concat concatenate them all, which is a, that's a, a programming term, I think, or maybe a math term. It means to combine them all. Anyway, so 21 terabytes to work with, and then the Thunderbolt 3 is only, only eight terabytes, but that's, uh, I've got two SSDs and then two regular hard drives, so it's pretty darn fast for all my video editing projects. And then behind this little Sea Otter guy, I've got another 22 terabyte down there, that's there, and that I just use for backup, to back up everything else. Um, so yeah, loads of storage, and then of course we got that thing on the top with uh, another just external hard drive so all my extra projects that I don't really need access to all the time just get stored and put away. The real, real impressive part of my setup that I'm super proud of is the cable management. So if you come on back here, ah, uh, shrink down here. We picked up, uh, I picked up these two uh, um, cage wire things. I don't, I don't even know what they're called, just 
wire trays, I guess, cable management trays from Amazon, uh, as well as um, I've had a lot, a lot of these like Velcro zip ties for like a decade. And then we got some of these little plastic clips that I'll we'll have B-roll on top of this. These little plastic clips, I uh, got like a hundred of them for like cheap. I don't even know how much I paid for them, but they're really great in, in, in uh, channeling all these cables. So you can just see, even, even when it's organized like this, it still looks incredibly messy and busy, but like, this is great. And I'm super proud of this because here's the before and after. Obviously before it was really, really bad. <laughs> um, and poor Norman, he would just like sniff it and be like, oh, get out of my way. And uh, rest in peace, Norman, I'm actually sitting where Norman usually would hang out in his taco bed. Rest in peace, baby boy. Um, but yeah, I this is the most recent change to my desk and I'm just like, pleased as punch, shall I say. It's just really, really... Mm, 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 mm. Mm. All right, um, let's see. I, I mean, it, we've got the bed part. Obviously it's just a bed. Um, got a lot of these wireless chargers from Ikea to charge all the devices. Um, got these floating shelves as well. I did have the, all the Amiibo out here, but I swapped them because they're easier to see. These are taller than the TV, so they're like, the bottom gets like blocked and that bugs me. But got my Funko Pop collection among other little trinkets and doodads, and then got some actual, real, bonafide, virtual boy um, original boxes, which is fantastic. I do have a virtual boy, which is uh, VR, but from 1995. It wasn't very good, but Nintendo had freaking VR. How long ago was 1995? 20... 25 years, 26 yeah. years ago? 26 years ago. So Oculus can... No, actually Oculus is really, really good. But all of you VR people that have a VR headset today can thank Nintendo for doing it first 20 years ago. Anyways, what else? Oh, got my wall of wow. So got a signed thing from Thurl Bailey. He's a Utah jazz player. Also has a banging 1999 album. is really great. Um, also got a picture with Charles Martinet, who's the voice of Mario and Luigi and Waluigi and a bunch of other Nintendo characters. That was great. Um, got my Halo ODST poster signed from the crew. Uh, and that video is actually on my main channel. I'll link that somewhere below, that, that ODST launch party. That's a, that's a good time right there. And then of course behind me, we've got the, the, the wall of death, I guess. Uh, but uh, got my, my dad, his mom, got my two doggos. Rest in peace, Norman. You just died like a week and a half ago. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then my mom was just like, why don't you have a picture of my mom? And I was like, I don't, because I don't have any pictures of her. So she's uh, actively looking through all of her old like filing cabinets and stuff for a picture of her mom. And we'll get that up here soon. Um, the newest edition actually from yesterday is uh, this guy. Formerly we had another buddy in Norman picture uh, and all of these we've had since 20, I've had since 2011. I don't know why I keep saying we, it's probably because you're here filming with me, but I've had these since 2011. So all of these have been unchanged for 10 years until yesterday when I swapped it out for this new one, which I, I saw this phrase. I don't know. Someone sent me this with, with a, a couple dogs. I don't know if that was you or Nick or someone else, but it was like so cute. Oh my gosh. And then I was going to post that to my Instagram, but I was like, wait a second. I have, pi I have my own pictures. And so then I just made it, made it my own thing. But yeah, heaven is the place where all the dogs you've ever loved will come to greet you. And I am a strong believer in that. They better be there. All right, uh, RIP Steve Jobs. And guess what? We're back for the pegboard 2.0. Woo! <laughs> um, I'm honestly still trying to figure out this whole pegboard system. Obviously I've got these hooks that are great for backpacks. I've got my two work backpacks and then my media backpack down here, which we've taken a look at. It's got my drone and my gimbal stuff and all my Nintendo stuff and all everything I need, the batteries, the cables, the chargers, the bricks, everything I need to have a good time with electronic stuff when I'm on the go. Uh, fake plant and everything else I'm trying to figure out. Like we've got this little bag thing right now. I just have a bunch of like old, oh, I think I've got my old iPod.
Wow, 160 gigabytes, baby. This was the highest capacity hard drive in my house for like almost like six or seven years. Kind of crazy. Um, not including all the raids. But uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, I don't know, just every version of Apple's headphones ever. <laughs> Remember these guys? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What? Yeah. Um, they don't necessarily work. And this is, this is sticky. Holy. Gross. Ah. Oh. I need to clean these. I'm going to set those aside. Ew, I feel so violated. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got my Skull Candy headphones and then like extra flash drives and then like sticky hooks and Velcro straps and other things. And, and then I have the shelf. What did I, I don't even know. So yeah, that's the main part of the bedroom since I have you looking this way. Why don't we just, um, this door is like my YouTube door, but I don't really use it very often. But basically anything I have an idea, I put it up here and then slowly it gets recorded. Then eventually it gets kind of edited and then eventually it gets fully edited and then eventually it gets uploaded or I need to upload it and then I take it down and then it's done. And uh, usually it works, but I've just been so inundated with everything else that I haven't really even looked at this very long. But more importantly, we're gonna switch our focus to over here. We've got the closet, huge closet, biggest closet I've ever had. Actually, that's not true. My house in St. George, I had like two closets that were pretty big. Um, obviously, I don't know if I've shown this before, my wall of shoes, mostly Vans. I'm a big fan of the Vans. And uh, mostly got the high tops. Got the slip-ons for white and black, and then eventually I'll just have every primary and secondary color, and then a few fun ones like the American flag, or this like rainbow thing, or... Oh, I guess that's it. I had I had some other ones too, but I guess I those got too old. The latest additions, of course, are these like weather-resistant, all-weatherproof hiking style high tops, which are really great, actually. I'm super surprised. Um, these are definitely gonna replace my regular hiking shoes. The next time I actually go outside, which will be never. Okay, come on in. So I recently had a huge like spring cleaning as it were, but it wasn't spring, it was like three weeks ago. I mean, it's a closet, you put stuff in it. Clothes and stuff, standout feature, I guess would be my, I've got my Link cosplay and I've got my Drift cosplay, which I'm still working on. I've got my green screen, blue screen that's collapsible, but I can't figure out how to like twist it in and collapse it. So I just leave it in the closet. And then whenever I stream it, I just yank it out and put it up against the wall. Uh, speaking of Drift's cosplay though, I've got all of these like pink LED ribbon lights that eventually will be sewn into all of the little, you know, the little designs and the logos and stuff. The only problem though, is that since I moved up here and my parents took care of most of the moving stuff, um, is that I'm afraid they threw away all the gold and all the pink cloth that I had. Not a huge deal, but we can still, it's, it's kind of annoying. Let's see, got some extra iPhone cases, got my two 12 Pro Max cases for whenever I get that phone. They were on sale, okay, don't judge me. And check out this one. First of all, the orange accents, thank you very much. And wiener dogs, ah! <laughs> so this will be my main case. And then for my filming case, I've got um, Moments little case that all the lenses, like that lens right there, will just click right on in. And this is actually brilliant because my eight plus case that I'm using to film right now, actually, this is the second one I had. The first one, it got a little soft because it's just plastic and the, the lens like broke through so it couldn't hold the lens anymore. Um, and so unfortunately I had to buy a whole new $40 case, but now you can just buy the case and then these little plastic inserts, they pop in and out. So if they ever break, it's like $5 to replace. That's an ingenious design change. Well done moment, ingenious uh, industrial design idea change. Um, what else do we got in here? We got like the, got a master sword, we got Drift's little rift edge thing, which I'm still working on. Pretty good. And I'm, I might be selling these if I, if I can get it right and they look cool. Maybe I'll sell them, I don't know. I don't know, got some Fortnite guns, because of course we do. Is this loaded? Yes. <laughs> the, I guess there's the dresser. We won't show you everything, but I do. I am particularly proud of how I organize my shirts. So they're just organized by color, nothing crazy. We got the blacks, we got the whites and the off-whites. We got the grays and then greens and blues, purples, reds and pinks, yellow and orange. Oh wait, no, just yellow. And then orange. 
cool. And then anytime um, I have like a clean load, I'll take everything up and then put the clean stuff underneath. So you always get the older stuff at the top. So you're constantly cycling through and that way uh, all the shirts eventually get worn. We have spent entirely too much time in my closet. So let's uh, get out and <laughs> explore the bathroom, which, uh, I don't know guys, it's a bathroom. One of my favorite things is we've got the granite countertops just like the kitchen. Uh, that's a nice feature, easy to clean. Um, we've got a lot of blankets and towels here that aren't normally here, but we'll leave them there for now. Uh, and then of course the greatest feature is more pegboards from Ikea, woo! And obviously we've got all the, all the stuff, which is great, all these trays and stuff. Um, ooh, so when we close the door, We've got some, some fun little Arrested Development Star Wars stuff. We've got a giant panorama that um, I took of Seattle for like, this is probably 2009. Uh, of course, we've got some office stuff going on here. What else? I think, I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah, I mean, it's just a shower. Just a shower, just a toilet, nothing crazy. But that's, uh, that's almost it. need to glue this in though. Get that over there. So yeah, this just fell out because it's literally just like not secured at all. Whew. Last time I bumped it, a thing fell out and it broke, but these didn't break, so that's good. But it is, it is toasty. Without burning. Oh. Ah! <laughs> okay. So um, in hindsight, I should have turned it off and pulled it down and then pushed it in. But I really do need to super glue that in. That's fine, we'll vacuum it. I've got some of my travels on the wall, like when I went to Europe and stuff, and you can check out that vlog over on my vlog channel, Yoshi on the Go 2, which is actually what this channel is on. So never mind, don't go anywhere. It's just, yeah, it'll come eventually. Um, and then when we look around here, and this is gonna be tricky, but we've got all my movie posters that I've ever made. Oh, that is falling out too. Dang. Got all the movie posters, everything I've ever made, so. Got a lot of fun stuff to look at, and of course we've got the greatest desk setup of all time. And uh, ooh, we need to go here. This is Cedar Mountain. That's okay. that's a really fun little bus, abandoned turquoise blue bus to go and find. Okay. And I'm like, oh, I need this. Well, anyways, I'm Yoshi on the go. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with us for the apartment tour. Um, uh, uh, I, I think that's all I got. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.